Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a really impromptu, relaxed Ikea haul. Mainly because I don't have the time to do anything fancier because it's still the school holidays slash lockdown with three kids. So I'm just going to get started. So if you are new to my channel, I'm Charlotte. I am 32, mum of three and we have recently been undergoing a renovation on our family home and it started on the 9th of March this year and it's now just coming to an end at the end of August. We've still got a few bits left to do but we are at the fun stage where we can finish it all and get little bits and bobs and make it feel more like home because even though it's been our house for so long it's felt a bit weird <laughs> up until now because it's looked a bit empty and just a bit, a bit different. So we went to Ikea and we stocked up on a few things. Some things that I can't really show you by holding them up because they're absolutely massive and not yet built, but I will run through what we've got. But I think what I'm gonna do is just go through the bags and show you what I've bought and then I'll run through the other items at the end. So the first thing that we picked up is this Kuggis, I think it's called, um, and it's literally just a storage tub. And what this is gonna be for is for like my root veg. So you know, like potatoes, that kind of thing. Um, I store them in a dark cupboard because they tend to last longer in there. And I just wanted something that I could like pull out rather than like rooting for them. I liked that this was quite clean and it's got like a little hole here so it's easy to like drag out. So I picked up one of those and that will be absolutely perfect. You can clean it, wash it, rinse it through, that kind of thing, it's sorted. Another thing that we picked up was another pack of these. Um, these are the Callas um, plates and they are the sort that you have to be careful with orange stuff, you know, like spaghetti bolognese, curry, that kind of thing, because they will stay. But the set that we've got at the moment has lasted really well. But we just wanted to pick up some more because you know when you have like play dates and stuff and you were already like low on washing or something because you've got loads of stuff in the dishwasher or you've got plates to wash thought it would be handy to have a few extra ones and in our house you can never have enough so you've got like pastel like shades so there's green yellow white pink gray and blue and they're just cheap and cheerful i swear they're about one pound 75 something like that and they last for ages so pick those up next thing i picked up this is actually for our bedroom and i don't know what its name is but it is this gorgeous blue vase or blue and white vase it reminded me very much of like you know mamma mia <laughs> in the setting there that's what it made me think of and i want that really chilled relaxed vibe in our bedroom and one thing that i did struggle with a bit in ikea when we went was that there were hardly any artificial plants and there were hardly any prints and they were two things that i really wanted to go for just for certain rooms of the house because i've got some faux eucalyptus in other parts of the house that i wanted to put in here and i couldn't find it anywhere but they were refurbing that whole area so i think they were doing like a new setup so it can't be helped but i might do an online order at some point for a few extra bits but we did pick that up and i just thought it was absolutely beautiful the next thing you might be able to see in the background we have new sofas for in this area and you know they're easy to clean they're kind of like a greasy color and they're beautiful but we don't want to take any chances with three kids we're also planning on getting a dog and um, we have two cats already so throws are never ever a bad idea are they so we picked up two the first one is ingram i think they're around i think this was eight pounds and this might have been slightly more um but it's just a creamy neutral flow with like a tasseled edge very simple these were like everywhere you know when they just put them around everywhere in these baskets this particular one was every corner that you turn so pick one of these up and again neutral ones are just easy because you can take them from room to room and switch them out and then this one was my favorite it's like this one's called stinamage i think i think <laughs> maybe um anyway <laughs> this is like more of a linen shape and it has like a charcoal gray like pattern through it but i thought this was beautiful so i'm really excited to be filming this video because we went on friday and it's now monday but this is the first time i've actually had a chance to like film it um so i kept all of these in this these bags for you because i had so many people messaging me on instagram asking me to do a haul so here you are but i can't wait to put them on my sofa it's such a, a weird thing to say anyway next up this is in no particular order by the way 
sandwich bags. I typically use reusable like things when I can. However, sometimes you do just need a sandwich bag for various different reasons. So I picked up some of these because the IKEA ones are just handy. And these are 2.5 litre and 1.2 litre. And they're just good sometimes if you're going out and about for snacks and stuff. Um, so I like to have them in just in case. The next thing is a bit of a boring purchase. But if you ever go to IKEA and you see this set, pick it up because they are so handy for your toolkit. I can't believe I'm saying that. But it is this and it's the fixer kit i'm sure you've seen it before but it comes with loads of uh, plugs and screws so you can affix things to your wall we actually use these for our uh, scaffold shelving in the kitchen and they were just a lifesaver so mark picked another one of those up and it's where they're only about like four quid or something i could be completely wrong there but that that price is springing to mind but they're just great to have in and i love that about ikea because everything's all organized for you the next thing is even more boring actually and i've got three of them so in our house <laughs> we used to have a uh, downstairs toilet and a family bathroom and now we have an ensuite as well and um, however the toilet brush that was in the downstairs toilet got destroyed when they had to knock through the wall and put a big piece of steel through it so i knew i needed to replace one in there we were probably long overdue a replacement one in the family bathroom and we needed one for the ensuite and i bought three toilet brushes and they were only two pound 75 i think they're just white they're basic but at the end of the day you use them to you know you know what you use them for uh so yeah they were really cheap cheerful they're white so they kind of blend in with most surroundings and um i'm gonna put these together and put them in their homes in a little bit because uh always need to clean a loo in this house don't we so that's those i know it's a really boring grown-up thing to say but i've been hunting for affordable toilet brushes for about three weeks and to find them i was just over the moon the next thing is my ultimate kitchen utensil we all have a favorite utensil and we all have a favorite hob ring mine is bottom left if you were wondering you'll have to let me know in the comments down below which yours is because we all have one we all have one let's be honest but this is my favorite kind of utensil because you can stir but you can scrape and you can flip and i don't even know what it's called but it's like a wooden spoon with a flat edge sometimes you can get them a little bit flatter than this but this is just if I have options, I always go for something like this. So this is, it doesn't have a name, I don't think, but it was very cheap. I think it was under a pound and very sturdy too. So I was happy to find one of them. I did what everybody does when they go to Ikea. Got some dime, dame, dime. What were they called when we were little? It was dime, wasn't it? And now they're dame. Anyway, they are so good. I can't wait to have a couple, to be fair. I might save them for the weekend with a glass of wine or something. But that was bag number one. I'm going to move him out of the way. And this is bag number two. And then I will run through other things that we've bought that are large. So the first thing that I got was this pillowcase and the inner that goes inside it so you can buy ikea pillowcases all around the store but then you can also find these in like the um kind of fabric -y section and um it's 50 by 50 really handy to have i mentioned in my latest weekend vlog that what i like to do is buy these inners and i just switch out the pillowcases and i have like a neutral scheme in my home and then you know when it's a bit like more christmasy i can get my christmas covers out that kind of thing and it works for me I I just loved this i'm into vintage florals at the moment and just like that kind of vibe i have another one on the sofa there can you see it in the background um that one's from h&m but i picked this up because it was just a bit of me so i'm gonna chuck him back on there and then i know that i mentioned that the faux plants were a little bit like poor like there weren't many but i did find one of my favorites and it is this one i think this is relatively new um but it's very pretty it's just a little bit more realistic looking than some of the ivy ones and stuff um so i'm gonna pop this it's just for like you know like putting on the shelf like your windowsill if you're downstairs living and just making things look a little bit more like you know fancy so i got one of those and then i also got a little um pot to put it in which is very nice so these are really cheap this is like probably one of the cheapest pots that you can get uh, so i've got one of those and then the other duo i got kind of made me think a bit i think it's meant to be rosemary um so i got these and i loved this pot 
with like the diamond detail on it it's like a really soft gray and um, so that's another one as well at the moment it's been living on our tv unit which is something that i've got to show you because i built that on friday when we got that so these last few things are just random little bits and bobs so this is just a bulb for our bedroom and um, so our bedroom is new as part of our renovation and we need the bulb the uh, light fixture is actually from ikea as well i will take you up there in a bit and show you and um yeah we just picked one of those up because we needed one and then I've got to say, right, we didn't key to get into Ikea. The experience going around was lovely, really, really nice, especially because we were child free, which is something that we've not been for a very long time. And um, so we walked around, we held hands, we giggled, we had fun. And um, that was fine, but when it got to the end, you know, the warehousey bit where you do picking, it was a nightmare because it was so busy. We had so much stuff, I cannot tell you. I will show you all in a sec. Um, but the queue just wrapped around and they'd like made like a, a twisty aisle for you to go around but that aisle was divided by stuff that you definitely don't need but will be enticed to buy in because you're bored so the first to get me were these and actually i think it was rachel if you're watching this i think rachel messaged me i swear it was a lady called rachel um who i speak a lot to anyway and she said don't buy them because they're so addictive but they look like jammy dodges and they are biscuits with a chocolate flavored filling and i saw them it made me laugh and i did pick them up and i probably will eat them all and then turned another corner and i did indeed find the jammy version and then finally i got some moose pasta or elk pasta sorry because i thought the kids would think it was really funny you know like just to make them think that dinner's a bit fancy one night elk pasta that's what we're all missing in our lives a bit of elk pasta so i picked those up and then the everything else was like furniture so i'm gonna spin you around and show you the first thing that i've built and then i'll take you upstairs and walk you through that as well so this is the first thing that we bought and that i wanted to show you and it is our tv bench i will leave the exact name of it on screen but we went for this one because it was really simple and obviously fits in with the rest of our like style in this room but it was also only 50 pounds or thereabouts i built this on my own it was really simple and easy to do not tricky and relatively straightforward and we just love it it looks really simple but a lot more expensive than it actually was i think i really like the beveled edges and just like a little bit of like extra design there and it has two shelves that you can put in and then two obviously at the bottom on the base you can adjust these shelves to see your like you know design really so like your telly and your things that you want in here we don't have much at the moment because this is like a second telly for us and a lot of our games consoles are in the other room but what is really nice is that stylistically you can't see this when you sat down or like standing up but if you look up under here this bit only comes up so far so your cables all come through that way and you can't see them all like too messily anyway and you can also take them down the back there because there is a gap so it's really handy and then we saw it styled in store with these baskets which again fit in with our theme of like neutrals and like lots of natural woods and stuff so we've got like controllers in there at the moment although that could change and then in this one i've just got some magazines and like books that i've been reading um it's really nice to have that space these little baskets do like create a little bit of mess but i feel like over time they'll stop flaking off um but yeah that's how we put that together and i'm really pleased with it so now i'm going to take you upstairs and i'm going to be a little bit quiet here because my youngest is napping but i will show you the rest of the things that we bought so one of the first things that we bought which i've actually already put up because i just couldn't help myself is this lampshade and it was only 13 pounds if i remember right and it's right on my street but what's really lovely is that when you put the light on you can't really see it too much at the moment because it's nice and sunny but it casts the most lovely shapes and shadows around the space and this is the little hallway area that leads to our new bedroom which is where everything else is So like I said, we did um, get quite a lot. It was quite a struggle to get all of this in the car. Some of this isn't from Ikea, like um, this like headboard type thing that we've got. So you have to excuse that. But we purchased not one, but two PAX wardrobe systems. And we went through the PAX designer in store. So I'm gonna pop you down 
and what you do that I've got with our design. So hopefully you can see me okay because it's really sunny in here and I've had to pick a corner where there's no sunlight directly at you. But we queued up in store. It probably took us about 20 minutes waiting, um, but we then met with a PAX planner. So if you've never heard of PAX before, it's basically a system that is hugely popular with IKEA. And you can do it yourself online. However, if you've never done it before, I would definitely recommend going into store. We have two packs wardrobes in our children's bedroom at the moment, like my two eldest are sharing, however my daughter will be moving into our old bedroom when we move into here, so we wanted to get her a nice wardrobe for her new room because we think that the smaller one that she's got in with her brother at the moment might be useful either for our youngest or for her brother who's quite a bit older than her, she's four, he's eight, as he grows. So. We went in and planned what we wanted and basically you go through your designs and you get a design and also like an interior design as well and then they will give you a huge list of everything that you need to go and pick up in the store. So this is Daisy's design which is kind of quite difficult to see but it's a very simple like wardrobe. We've mimicked what we've already got in my children's other room so it's a shelf at the top a bar underneath for hanging like a you know your clothes on like so like a hanging rail and then that stops probably about three fifths of the way down and then underneath that we have these big baskets now i don't know if you can see but they are like metal baskets they've got like a grid effect so there's loads of air that gets into your clothes which is nice for starters they're easy to clean and they're incredibly easy to fit because you just need to fit the brackets to them they're a lot easier than drawers i find having built <laughs> these before and um, so she's going to have loads of storage as she is growing up and getting older like she starts school in september and i've already found that the smaller wardrobe we've got is probably getting to the point where she might need a little bit more space but it just means that with this design you don't really need chests of drawers you don't need extra storage because it's all confined and it really makes the best use of your wardrobe now in our bedroom this back wall here which you can't really see but obviously it goes that way um we wanted to put the wardrobe over there because it was kind of out of the way it meant we can put the bed like running this way and benefit from like nice sunlight coming in we didn't want to put the bed in front of the window because it doesn't feel as practical and we're getting shutters here we always knew this room was going to be a, like a slightly smaller than what we have in our old bedroom however it's bigger at the same time because we've got the ensuite and then that little like corridor there is actually part of our bedroom so we went for something that will be really really like space saving and we've gone for sliding doors but we've actually got them in the bamboo effect which was slightly more expensive but they just look so cool and they're really like what we i don't know envisage having in here like really natural and chilled and calm and so it looks like this which is a useless picture really because you can't really see but they are pretty much the full length of this wall over here and then inside we have a similar design where we have to save space again i don't know if it's going to focus we have the rails coming this way and we have two of them so they're a lot more accessible and then we've got drawers underneath and it just means that we can like put like underwear in there sports gear in there um, loads of different things. Our bed is actually from Ikea. Um, it's a big king size one. We're going to move in here. That has under the bed storage as well. So it's perfect because we've got loads of places to store things now. So that is our haul. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, sorry it was like quite chilled. I know that there are way more professional videos on here when it comes to Ikea and stuff. But I just wanted to show you what it's like real time because this is what <laughs> we all go through at the end of the day when we've been somewhere like that. We are now in flat pack hell and I'm sure we're going to spend a couple of weekends now trying to build it all and rearrange everything but it'll be exciting and we will get there so thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are new if you like renovation house stuff then i'll leave the playlist down below of what we've been doing over like the past six months to our house and uh, yeah hopefully i will see you next time bye